Remedial Social Work The remedial social work is one of the model among social group work. This model focuses on individual's die function and utilize the group as a context and means for altering deviant behavior of the client. The basic idea behind this model is that the deviant behavior of the client which is disapproved by the society can be rectified by involving in group interaction. Although the process is carried out in groups, the social worker maintains individual focus. The group interaction, behavior and components of die function in behavior are closely noted. Generally, clients of such groups include physically and mentally handicapped, legal offenders, emotionally disturbed and isolated people. Society does not understand the problem faced by this section. Hence, they are not able to maintain a healthy interaction with the society. This model was contributed by Robert Winter, who was an educator and consultant. He was working in Michigan School of Social Work when he introduced remedial model in the year 1964. He is well known for his contribution to group work and was a founding member of National Association of Social Workers. Problem in social interaction and adjustment can be rectified through this clinical approach of group work. The solution for adjustment problems are found by proper guidance and interaction with the group. Role of social worker in remedial approach. The social worker is the central person in executing this model. The social worker identifies the problem faced by the client by observing the client's interaction and participation in the group. The social worker acts as a spokesperson by highlighting the norms and values of the society and maintaining the same during the group interaction. During the implementation of this model, the social worker motivates the clients to keep focus on their goals and maintain a positive attitude. The social worker facilitates the group activities in order to gain required result. Although it is a group work model, the remedial social work focus on problem of individual client. This method also enhances the aspect of prevention by including those sections who are prone to adjustment problems. Development Oriented Social Work Development Oriented Social Work can be defined as a process of planned change designed to promote the well-being of the population. This method was introduced by the faculty members of Boston University under the leadership of Brustein in the year 1965. Lowy is known to be the main architect of this model. This model includes the ideas of Erickson's eco-psychology, group dynamics, and conflict theory. The primary aspect of this model is dynamics of intimacy and closeness among the group members. The degree of intimacy is taken to account for appropriate social work intervention. All the three level, individual, group and setting is subjected to study, diagnosis and treatment. Thought, feeling, sentiment and behavior of the client is continuously assessed by the group worker. The social worker tries to improve the situation among group members, agency and social environment. Development oriented social work is implemented in three stages beginning stage, middle stage, and ending stage. This can be understood by observing the process from the perspective of client and social worker separately. Beginning stage In the beginning stage, members become oriented to the new group situation. They understand the reason for group membership and the work to be done. Members will experience feeling of enthusiasm and also have various doubt at the same time. Group worker during the beginning stage. Group worker clarifies the purpose and structure of the group. Establish a contract with the group members. Support the members for task selection. Give support for group members for the initial effort. Maintain unity and cooperation among the group. Middle stage. Members start to express and interact. Gain better 
understanding and accept the values of the group. The group members understand their role in the group. Group shows better ability to plan and function. Group becomes stable and better bonding is formed. The group work towards achieving the goal. Group worker during the middle stage. The group worker guides the group towards defined goals. Clarifies the task completed and task still to be completed. Provide support to enable group to be self-directing. Help the group to complete task within the given time frame. Ending stage. Members show varying degree of task accomplishment. Gains group experience. Show varied level of satisfaction. Show concern and anxiety about ending the group membership and being separated from group members, social worker and agency. Group accept the reality of group experience ending. Social worker in the ending stage. Help the group with task accomplishment. Evaluate the gains of group experience. Understand the goals which are not accomplished. Guide the group for a smooth ending. Help the group with post-termination plans. This method encourages the development of nation and individual by gradual improvements in various levels.